Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you my thoughts on the BC Racing BR Series coilovers that I recently installed on this 2003 Lexus GS300. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button at the end of the video and give it a like only if you like this video and only if you find it useful. First off, I will give you the most important thing that you can take away from my video. If you order a regular set of the BR series and get a box that says Extreme, you are okay. You got the right set. And let me explain why I said this. I bought this set on Amazon and it was very confusing so much that I had to send back the first set thinking that I had gotten the wrong item. Um, let me tell you that if you're buying a set of BR series for your second generation Lexus GS and you filter the results for your specific GS, the results will not list the BC Racing coilovers and I do not know why I've done it many, many times and I cannot get to the BC Racing coilovers. So to find my set, I had to unfilter my results and that is how I ran into Map Performance. That's the name of the company who offered a set for my car. So I ordered a set from them and they shipped it right away. I mean, I got it like three days later and it was a uh, Friday night, but <laughs> it had a label that said Extreme and I thought that it was the wrong kind and being that it was the weekend, I could not get a hold of the seller. I decided to ship it back that Saturday unopened to preserve the integrity of the box just because I didn't want to open it and then not, not be able to package it the same way that they sent it and for it to get damaged on the way back. If you go directly to the BC Racing website and try to order a set, it will give you the option to go extreme low. And I did that before I ordered my set. I originally was planning on buying it from BC Racing. So when I saw that label on my box, I figured they sent me the wrong set of coilovers and it will drop my vehicle too much, I thought. And I just didn't want that. And I sent it back. And the following Monday, I followed up with a call. Um, the customer service is excellent. And it sucks that I had to return the item because there is it to deal with. And eventually they reimbursed me for the full amount. I then proceeded to try to order from BC Racing directly and not through Amazon, but the prices were higher and I could go with a reseller and get a lower price. So I even contacted BC Racing and they told me that they do not do any price matching. I consider ordering directly from BC Racing just to make sure that I was getting the right set, even if I were to pay an extra $50. Luckily, I found the Amazon BC Racing store and oddly BC Racing through Amazon is cheaper than through their website with free shipping as well. I ordered a set and guess what? I got one that said Extreme as well with a yellow tag, just like the first set that I got from Map Performance. But this time I decided to get to the bottom of this and I paid BC Racing a phone call and I spoke with a gentleman by the name of Jeremy in sales and support and he promised to get me a prompt answer the following day and I got an email from him saying good afternoon Juan we received a response directly from the manufacturer of BC Racing the coilovers you received are a revised version of the R-03-BR that are extreme by default this is kind of like extreme low but a bit different it basically means only one coilover kit is offered with the standard one to three inches of lowering below the stock right height the GS300 already sits low so the kit might feel like extremely low but it's technically a standard kit. The coilovers have plenty of adjustability to achieve a moderate drop all the way down to tucking the tires and such. These coilovers cannot be made longer or shorter than how they are stocked. And that's what I call customer service. I hadn't opened the box just to preserve the integrity of the packaging in case I had to send it back. But with such clarification, now I knew that I had the right set and that I was ready to install it. First off, let me tell you what's included with the order. It's a set of four coilovers and they're perfectly labeled with two for the front and two for the rear. And you will also get two keys that you will need to adjust the height of your car. You also get some literature from the company, instructions and stuff like that on how to make the adjustments and the typical stickers that you get from vendors that you can put on your car if you want to give the company free advertising. Now let's talk about the installation process. It was pretty straightforward, but if you're not comfortable with suspension work, I recommend getting a professional to do it for you. I did it with the help of my friend, or maybe I should say my friend did it with my help. I mean, I was mostly just in the way trying to record the process. The instructions are not included by the way, so you will need to find a good go by video on YouTube. I may make a video of the installation, but for now I'll leave you a link of the best go by that I found. And it's not from BC Racing, but from Raceland. It's a short six minute video with perfect instructions, better than I could ever explain it. But do me a favor, follow the instructions to the dot because I didn't and it cost me about two hours of extra time had I only followed the order of things. 
Another thing that can help with the installation and the height adjustment is having a power tool that allows you to speed up the process because you will be toying with the height until you find the desired height. So the wheels got to come off and on and um, it, you will save time by having a power tool. And I installed them the way they just came out of the box and the car rubbed pretty badly and I couldn't even get it out of the driveway onto the street without scraping the front bumper. I guesstimate that the drop was about three inches. And I would say that I went back and I lifted it about two inches until I found my desired height. I then adjusted the dampening 15 clicks out of the 30 available. Now, let's talk about the performance. The BC Racing BR Series coilovers have completely transformed the way my GS300 handles. The ride is much more responsive and the car feels very well planted, especially during cornering. I've set mine to a medium stiffness, which strikes a nice balance between comfort and performance. If you watch my first video on this car, I said that I found the wheel wells extremely large for the size of the wheels and tires. So my goal in getting coilovers was to reduce the gap. And please note that even though I swapped the original 16 inch wheels for forged wheels off a 2009 Lexus IS350 F Sport that are bigger and wider by, I think it's uh, two inches bigger at 18 by eights with tires that have way of a smaller profile. The circumference of the tire did not change at all, but the gap was too much for my taste, making the wheels and tires look out of proportion is small for the car. As to why I went with this particular brand, honestly, I don't know much about the subject. And while doing research for options, I found plenty of positive reviews about BC Racing coilovers. And to top it off, my coworker runs a set of BR series on his Camry, and he told me he was pretty happy with them. So I decided that for the price, they were the best option. On the road, the difference is night and day because the car feels a lot more stable and there's significantly less body roll, especially in twisty roads. The car leans less and recomposes itself quickly. Plus, the adjustable dampening is a game changer. I'm just not too fond of modifying cars and I wanted to retain control of the height and stiffness of the suspension. And I just didn't want to be married to one setting and that's why I didn't go with shorter springs over the stock shocks. I also figured that the factory suspension on my GS was over 20 years old and eventually I will have needed to replace the shocks as well. So I may as well get out of the way and this just made more sense to me. After I installed the kit, I took it straight to get it aligned. And even though I didn't lower it that much, it did mess with the alignment, so I don't plan on lowering more at the cost of paying for another alignment. I mean, later, when I get used to this ride, I may try it, but for now, I'm going to leave it the way it is. And let me warn you that even though the drop was minimal and the alignment didn't look off to the naked eye, it was. And I'm glad that I did it right away just to get an even wear on my new tires. I can already tell that some of you will say that it doesn't even look lowered at all, but believe me, it is about an inch lower. And that was the whole goal, to retain the stock look with a slight touch of modernity. At that, I feel like I did it without sacrificing too much ride quality because I plan to put a lot of highway miles on this car. And the last thing I want is a harsh ride for my road trips. When I got these wheels installed, I did notice a bit more rattling in the cabin and now the ride is a little bit stiffer than stock but still comfortable enough to feel like a Lexus. It actually reminds me of the ride quality of my Lexus IS350 that I once had. And now let me show you the before and after shots. The stance is so much better now and it really gives this car a slightly more aggressive and modern look. It doesn't look slammed and the overall look is just what I was aiming for. Overall, I'm really impressed with the BC Racing BR Series coilovers. They offer great performance, adjustability, and value for the money. And if you're looking to upgrade your suspension, I highly recommend giving this a try. And I'll leave you a link to Amazon in case you're interested. Ordering from my link will not cost you more, but it will give me a small commission that is greatly appreciated. And as far as my experience with BC Racing as a company, it was great. They shipped the item right away. I actually got it earlier than expected. And it was also very easy to get a hold of their customer service and they followed up with the with my inquiry the only suggestion i have for them is that they should update their website with the information they provided to me over the phone on my particular set other than that it was a pleasure dealing with bc racing and i wouldn't hesitate ordering something from them based on my experience and in this interaction now let's hope that my callovers do what they're supposed to do for a long time before pulling the trigger on this i read plenty of reviews watched many videos on different brands and you should too to make sure that you're getting the best option in coilovers for your needs and your budget. And that is it for today. If you have any questions or want to share your experiences with these coilovers, please drop me a comment below. And as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos on my GS and other car-related content. See you next time.